Ever wonder where your RCA section clips or your built-in amplifier runs out of power? No problem. We have an SMD DD1. We're doing radio dynos. Stay tuned. So today's radio is the ILX207. Yes. This has a ton of features, CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI input, output, auxiliary, no CD player, it's an L-shaped radio, but we have it, it's supposedly a four volt unit. Ready? Let's check it out. You got it. First test, USB, 40 hertz, preamp output. Maxed out, 2.1 volts. Let's go into the audio adjustment. Setup, general, sound. Scroll up. Source volume setup. Scroll up. CarPlay. Media. Back it down to seven. So at seven, we get 4.7 volts of output. 1000 hertz USB RCA output. Max volume, 2.1. Let's adjust it up. It can also go up to a seven, and that'll give us a 4.8 output. 40 hertz auxiliary RCA output. So at maxed volume output, we have 1.1 volt. Let's go into the menu, auxiliary. So at plus 13, we get a 4.9 thousand hertz aux RCA output. At max volume, there again, we get a 1.1. Let's go ahead and gain it up. 13 is clipping, so 12 it is. At 12, we get a 4.5 volt output. 40 hertz Bluetooth preamp level output. Max volume, 2.1 volts. Let's turn it up. Back it down one, seven. But seven, as you can see, is giving us some distortion right here. So we're gonna back it down to six. So we're gonna call it six at 4.2. Thousand Hertz, Bluetooth, preamp output. Max volume, 2.1. Start turning it up. Seven, look at that, got some fuzz. So we're gonna leave it at six, at a 4.3. HDMI, 40 hertz, preamp output. Max volume, 2.1 volts. All right, let's start turning it up. Turn it back down to seven. We're still getting a little distortion at seven. We're gonna turn it down to six and we're gonna get a 4.2 volt output. 1000 hertz, HDMI, preamp output. Max volume, 2.1. Clipping at eight. We still have distortion. So six it is at 4.3. 40 hertz, deck power, USB. 
23 at 9.5 volts of output. 1000 hertz, deck power USB. 23 at 9.6. 40 hertz, auxiliary, deck power. 28 at 9.8. 1000 hertz, auxiliary, deck power. 27 at 9.1. 40 hertz, deck power, Bluetooth. 23 at 9.5. So at 23, we are getting a little bit of static right here. So we're gonna call that 22. That is weird. Cause I mean, it, it gets you up to the voltage that we're accustomed to on this output, but we're definitely getting some distortion here. So to be safe, we're gonna call it 22. That's only gonna give us a 7.6 volt output. HDMI input, deck power, 40 Hertz. 23 at 9.4 volts of output. HDMI, 1000 hertz, deck power. There again, there's that little fuzz that we had. So we're gonna have to call it 7.6 at 22. Well, there you go, there's the 207. A quick recap, deck power. Yeah. If you're gonna be doing Bluetooth or HDMI with deck power, there was definitely some kind of high frequency distortion. So you're really only gonna be tapping out at about 22 was where it started to clip out. So I don't, I don't know what that was. That was the only two sources that gave us that distortion was HDMI and Bluetooth. Now, other than that, auxiliary input was really weird when we were testing that. 1.1 volts of output. I mean, all the output voltages were really low until you went in and gained them up. I don't understand why Alpine did that. That's really freaky. I mean, auxiliary, you had to bump it up to 12. USB, seven. Bluetooth, six. HDMI, six. That's a lot of, I mean, it's nearly, our default on this is half its voltage. I mean, yeah. 2.1 volts, except for aux, which was 1.1 volts. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's insanity. So. I don't know what they were thinking of this. I mean, you clearly get the output voltage you need at, you know, uh, what would we have? 4.2 volts mainly. Mm -hmm. um, some of them were a little higher. USB was a little higher. Um, but I mean, so you do get four volts, but out of the box, you're not getting four volts. No. So no. Eh, I don't know about that. So, I mean, yes, good. You get a lot of power output. But, uh, bad, bad, you gotta gain it up. I don't understand that. Yeah. So I think that's something that, uh, I don't know what Alpine was thinking there. But then he gets Alpine, so who knows what they're thinking. Fernando? All right. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and also on Twitter. We know there's a ton of radios you guys want us to do. We're trying to bang out as many of them as we can. With that, you guys have a nice night. We'll see you later next time. Bye. All our tests are done using iPhone 6 Plus for consistency. It's not because we want to, it's just a consistent. We've used it in all our tests up to this point. We'll use it all our tests going forward, just so we have a standard in which to go by.